so let's start our complete tutorial on IR sensor so at first we have to take a look on the current scenario whereas the IR sensor is being used nowadays an infrared technology has a wide variety of wireless applications mostly in object sensing heat sensing and remote controls in the electromagnetic spectrum, the infrared portion divided into three regions, near infrared region, mid infrared region, and also the far infrared region. Now let's see what is an IR sensor. An IR sensor is an electronic device that emits the light in order to sense some object of the surrounding. An IR sensor can measure the heat of an object as well, detects the motion, Usually, in the infrared spectrum, all the object radiates some form of thermal radiation. So, according to that thermal radiation, the higher sensor can sense the heat also. This type of radiation are invisible to our eyes, but infrared sensor can detect this radiation very easily. So now let's discuss the pinout diagram of an IR sensor. Here in the image, you can see there is an IR emitter, an IR receiver, a comparator op -amp, also a trim pod or a potentiometer to adjust the distance or the sensitivity of the air sensor two leds one is signal led and another one is a power led so signal led will notify you when the air sensor will sense a object and the power led will indicate when the air sensor is been supplied with a power source and also there are three different pins to connect it with different uh, microcontrollers or any other system those are output pin ground pin and the last one is the vcc pin so now let's see what is an ir emitter an infrared transmitter is a light emitting diode which emits infrared radiation called as ir leds even though an ir led look like a normal led the radiation emitted by it is invisible to human eyes so in simple term we can say that an ir emitter it emits some lights have, having the same wavelength of an ir receiver so that the ir re receiver can receive the emitting light from an emitter so now let's take a look on the ir receiver an infrared receiver or an infrared sensor detects the radiation from an IR transmitter. IR receivers come in the form of photodiodes and phototransistors. Infrared photodiodes are different from normal photodiodes as they detect only infrared radiation. So now let's come to our third component. It is an op-amp comparator IC. Here you can see its pinout diagram LM358. This board also has a comparator op-amp that is responsible for converting the incoming analog signal from the photodiode to a digital signal. So when the air sensor sends something, it feedback comes as an analog signal, then it will convert into a digital signal with the help of this op-amp comparator IC. So now let's jump to our fourth component that is a potentiometer. So in an IR sensor, if you have to adjust the sensitivity or the range of a IR sensor, then we can use this potentiometer and we can adjust the sensitivity of that device. So this is a schematic diagram of an IR sensor. So if you want to make your own IR sensor, then you can follow this schematic diagram and design your own PCB. But I will recommend you to purchase an IR sensor from online or from a local hardware store because it comes in very cheap price. So the choice will be yours. So before jumping to the principal and its application, if you guys are liking this video so far, then please go give it a thumbs up, share this video and also guys don't forget to subscribe my channel and also if you want to support me, then you can support me on my Patreon page by taking a subscription of my Patreon and please support me on my Patreon guys, the link is in the description, please go click the link and support me on my Patreon, thank you. So now let's talk about the principle and application of an air sensor. So here you can see in this video there is an air sensor also there is an object placed in front of the air sensor. So when is the air LED transmitted infrared lights towards an object then the object will reflect the air light towards a photodiode or a receiver. In this case the wavelength of the transmitter infrared light will be same as the wavelength of the photodiode. And after that the receiver received that light there is a sudden change in voltage and resistance inside the IR sensor then after that the OPAM comparator IC will take that analog signal and convert it into a digital signal and give us the output throughout the output terminal of the IR sensor.
So now let's take a look on this simulation process of an air sensor and you will get a complete idea about how an air sensor should work. So you can see when an air sensor is being sensed by an object, a signal LED is glowing red on the air sensor board and as well as there is a voltage change at the output terminal of the air sensor can be seen. It changes from low voltage to high then high to low simultaneously as the air sensor is being sensed or unsensed by an object. So this is the principle of an air sensor and I hope you guys understand it perfectly. So now let's see the different types of air sensor. There are two types of air sensors available and they are the active infrared sensor and the passive infrared sensor. Active infrared sensor are the normal air sensor that we are using and also the passive infrared sensors are also two types. One is thermal and second one is the quantum infrared sensors. So now let's take a quick peek on some important nodes of an IR sensor. So when the photodiode is sensitive to an IR light of the same wavelength which is emitted by the IR LED and when IR light falls on the photodiode, the resistance and the output voltage will change in proportion to the magnitude of the IR light received. And also there are five basic elements used in a typical infrared detection system, an infrared source, a transmission medium, an optical component, infrared detectors or receivers and signal processing. Infrared lasers and infrared LEDs of specific wavelength used as infrared sources. The three main types of media used for infrared transmission are vacuum, atmosphere and optical fibers. Optical components are used to focus the infrared radiation or to limit the spectral response. So let's take a look on different field where an air sensor is used like your night vision devices, radiation thermometers, infrared tracking and air imaging devices and also there are many fields like climatology, meteorology, photobiomodulation, flame monitors, gas detectors, water analysis, moisture analyzer, anthesiology testing, petroleum exploration, rail safety and gas analyzer. So these are the different fields where an air sensor technology are being used. So this is it for the video guys. I hope you guys like this video and don't forget to share this video and also don't forget to subscribe my channel guys. And if you guys want to support me, you can support me through my Patreon. The link is in the description. Go there, click in the link and support me through my Patreon by taking the subscription. So that's it guys. Thank you for watching. Peace.